you joined Uber in 2019. Yes, I did. Had you ever imagined that you'd be working for Uber at that level? Interestingly, yeah. I always, when, when Uber joined, uh, like started in Kenya, I was one of like, I was so excited about it because I'd heard about it in other markets. So I was yeah. quite excited when they came to Kenya. Um, I didn't know that I'd be working. Uh, um, it's just how God ordered my life. But I, yeah, it was, um, I was working at a communications firm and then uh, came, came to Uber in 2019. Mm. Yeah. How did that happen? Well, um, it's, I, a couple of years before that, I'd yeah. seen that they had, um, there was an opening for, for the role. Yeah. Um, and then w when, at the right time, is when they actually reached out and they, 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 asked, they asked if I was interested in the position, and uh, I was. Uh, so it, it, it just happened at the right time for me to transition from where I was at the agency to now um, taking up this new role, um, handling communications at the time for East Africa, which has now since moved into West Africa as well. One of the things that emerge, uh, well, there has actually been research that has been done about it, is that as women, we tend to uh, shy mm -hmm. away from applying for certain jobs because we feel like we are not qualified for mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. uh, on the contrary, uh, say there's a, a, a job that has a, a vacancy somewhere and our the other gender, <laughs> the male counterparts, yeah. and they realize the vacancy is there, they will apply for it whether they are qualified or not. Mm -hmm. Now, for women, it's like um, when I look through the job description and I realize I don't have possibly 50% of the job requirements, I will keep off. So in your case, mm -hmm. when you noticed that Uber was looking for a uh, head of communications yeah. for East Africa, East yeah. and West Africa, did you have that moment when uh, you doubted yourself? And did you, how did you, you know, push yourself through? How did you just decide to go for it? Mm. So there are a number of reasons why that is the case in terms yeah. of why, why a woman would feel, you know, should hold back yeah. um, or, or feel like she's not qualified. Um, but I, I, I feel what's really important is, I think when you're approaching something is to understand who you are, first of all, that will actually help you to, it will alleviate that feeling of doubt because you're approaching it from a point of understanding your, your identity. So mm -hmm. then it's not, you understand that this actually is right for you. Um, this is where you should be. These are the, the things you should be pursuing. Yeah. Um, as opposed to, trying to find things to make you feel a certain way. So I think that helped me to go for it, like, uh, in that sense, because I, I knew that it was, um, it was the right thing for me at the time. Mm. Yeah. You read through the description and you realized, and you thought to yourself, this was, this was, this. Uh, it, it actually, it, it, it almost, how can I, I can't describe it. It, it <laughs> felt like it was, it was the time for me to enter, uh, to, to, um, to take that up at the time. Yeah. So, yeah, I, that 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 was how I approached it. So you are, and you yeah. went for it. Yes, I did. Do do you, do you ever experience uh, what is popularly known as the imposter syndrome? Uh, and how do you overcome that? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm. Um, the, the the challenges that have the times when that have been challenging for me have been when I've not um, I would say understood how to approach certain things from a perspective of like I said identity. So when that hasn't wasn't fully understood by me mm. i would um, be trying to resolve things from the wrong uh, standpoint you know what i mean like yeah. going after the wrong goalposts in that <laughs> sense so um that 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 would that's a challenge that but i've since learned to um to overcome it because then once i understand who i am mm. uh, then i understand what i can't do what i can't do and i'm not trying to look for external <laughs> things to validate or anything um, yeah. Wow. Yeah.